right, all right. Football Sunday is finally here, and I'm very, very happy about that. Even though we're going through a pandemic right now, there's no fans in the stands, and that sort of makes things boring because I, I miss the cheering, I miss the booing, I miss the chants, and I miss all of that. But, you know, football is, is here, and when football's here, that means making money is also here because sports betting is my specialty, especially when it comes to football. Now, with that being said, I am going to do a free three every Sunday, free three picks, free three NFL Sunday picks. And uh, let's get down to business now, I should say. Um, my first pick on this board is the Buffalo Bills versus the New York Jets. Now, I have the New York Jets covering the plus seven and a half because... The road team in this series within the last three years or so usually covers the spread. And uh I don't see this um I don't see this trend changing because both teams are relatively similar to how they were last year. Bills improved their team drastically on offense, though I'll say, because um they added Stefan Diggs to their wide receiver core and whatnot. Still got a very good defense. And they, they were a playoff team last year. I still think they're going to be good. And as far as the Jets are concerned, the Jets have some injuries on offense. However, I do like the, improve, the, the improvements that the Jets made on offense. I mean, yeah, on offense with the offensive line. They drastically improved that. I think the Jet defense is going to have a solid defense, even though they have injuries to their middle linebacker position. But, you know, in this game... Last last couple of years, these two teams play each other close. Nobody runs away in these games. Um, as a matter of fact, yeah, the road team covers the spread. The the road team, who's the underdog, covers the spread. And like, if you look at the statistics in the last three years, that's been the case for the most part. And I'm gonna look for that to to continue. I think it's gonna be a close game. And uh, the Jets could win the game, but I'm not going to pick them to win the game. But I'm just going to pick them to cover the spread. Game could go either way, in my opinion. Uh, so, yes, plus seven and a half. I mean, yeah, plus seven. And I think the game's going to go over the 39 and a half total. It's not going to be a crazy high scoring game. It's going to be, I was saying, the low 20s. I think a team is going to win like 24 to 20 or something like that. I think it's going to be that kind of game. Uh, and that's all I have to say about that matchup. Now I have the Detroit Lions versus the Chicago Bears. Now, Matthew Stafford was injured for the most, for most of the season last year. The Lions had a bad, a bad record, bad team last year. I look for them to improve this year. They have uh, Matthew Stafford. They added uh, Adrian Peterson to the mix and they still got some nice wide receivers and Kenny Galladay and uh, I forgot the other guy's name, but they have some pretty good players there with their offense and defense is okay i guess and the bears they're having a little bit of issues with their quarterback situation because you signed nick Foles and you still have uh, mitchell trubisky i don't know what's going on there and uh i'm not i'm not i'm not really a big fan of mitchell mitchell trubisky anyways so Bears took a step back from winning the winning the division two years ago to going eight and eight last year. And uh I don't really see them being any better or worse for that matter. I think they're gonna be in the same boat this year. Like eight and eight, nine and seven. They might win slightly over that, depending on how, you know, how the things break off for them. But as far as this game is concerned, I have the Lions covering the minus two and a half. I didn't go I didn't bother going with the totals in this game because I don't really know what to expect, to be honest with you. But I just think the Lions are a better team, way better quarterback situation. So I'm picking the Lions to cover this small number, which is a two and a half. You know what I'm saying? They're going to win outright. And the last game on this list is the Indianapolis Colts versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, I like the Colts to win this game, I like them to win big. Minus seven and a half, I have the Colts. Like I said, they're going to win this game big. Better quarterback, better defense, better offense. They have just a better team across the board. Jacksonville, 
traded away most of their good players. They're just starting all over. You know, this is they're probably going to be one of the worst teams in the league, and I look for them to get off to a bad start. So there you have it, my free three picks for week one in the NFL season. Everyone, good luck. Have fun tomorrow watching the games, and stay tuned for my primetime Monday pick for tomorrow for the New York Giants against the Pittsburgh Steelers.